going to look at doing a colour blend now because your aqua tints can also be blended together so if we take a blue so I'm just going to put a good wash of this blue on the top here you've got this lovely brush nib on here which is great to work with and then if you need any more colour you can just gently squeeze the pen and get some more colour out quite easily so I'm just going to go on with a nice coating of that blue and this colour is the blue topaz but then I'm going to go in with some yellow and I'm trying to find the colour on here it's just quite pale and this is moonshine so we've got this lovely yellow which is one of the paler colours so the nice thing about the aqua tints is they come in a selection of colours but by adding water we can change the feel of these so I'm just squeezing the pen to get a bit more of that colour out now I'm going to blend these two colours together so just going in with my brush got a wad of kitchen paper on the side here as well because I don't want it too wet so I'm just going to gradually bring the blue down to the middle just doing those big sweeping strokes again just keep the brush nice and fluid with those strokes and then I'm cleaning my brush off so I don't have any blue on so I can then start adding the yellow so I'm now going to bring my yellow up to meet the blue and as you can see as they start to meet the colours are going to blend so you get that lovely seamless blend and we're getting a green created here because the two colours that I've chosen so again have a look at your colour wheel and use colours that go together so you can see the nice blend there you've got your yellow your blue and your green coming through so that is your sort of colour blend